Hey guys, it's Raphael, amigos, Rafael. Um, I got here a little uh, bus that was given to me by Walter Evans, a uh, good friend of mine at Monster Palooza, and uh, I told him I'd do a little tutorial on his little zombie looking guy. Uh, un buen amigo, uh, Walter Evans, me dio esto en la convención donde fui, y le dije que iba a hacer un video acerca de cómo pintar esto. So, uh, let's try something. I'm going to spray him with some uh, uh, gray primer. Just so you can uh, see more of the detail, voy a sprayarlo con uh, primer gris para que vean un poco mejor el detalle. And we'll see what we can come up with. Okay, so here he is, aquí se ve. Um, so we'll do the best we can. Um, there are some teeth missing here. You got some air bubbles in here. Hay unos, este, como se dice, bolsas de aire aquí. So we're just going to fix that with. Uh, the uh, epoxy, the putty. Vamos a ponerle el, la pasta y arreglar ese, esa dentadura. So we're going to do that to all the little holes, our little air pockets. And what I'm using, y lo que estoy usando es, you know, the epoxy sculpt. Okay, now even though he's a zombie, a pesar de que es un zombie ya todo muerto, uh, Normally, I guess, dead skin, grayish, or whatnot, I don't know. But I'm actually just going to start off with skin tone. Uh, and just work from there. Because I want to try to get some, you know, more organic look to this guy. When it's rough like this, uh, and, and many sculpts are tend to be that way, it, sometimes it's always harder to to show more organic-y looking things. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's why, you know, you do the grays and, and, and do all the all the dark uh, blemishes and stuff. But I'm gonna start off with uh, the skin tone and see where it takes me. I might end up doing them all gray. I don't know, but let's just try skin tone first. Vamos a empezar primero con la piel. Pudo haber sido otro color porque pues está muerto y podrido. Y si es así, pues bueno, lo haré diferente. Now right now my garage is a little bit cold uh, from the ocean, you know, we get the mist. So the paint doesn't really dry as quick. Uh, so that would, I would be here for a good while waiting for you know the paint to dry. Uh, como está un poco ahorita frío por lo fresco del mar ahí, este, aquí, um, la pintura no se seca tan rápido, entonces tendría que esperar más tiempo. Uh, so if you don't want to wait too much, what I do, and excuse the uh, the sound, but I use a hairdryer and I, let me, let me back this out here. Uso el aire uh, de pelo, so as I'm spraying, I'm actually, you know, using the hairdryer and that dries it very quick. Let me put this more far back so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. So, again, excuse the, uh, the, uh, uh, the sound. See, I sprayed that a while and it's still wet. So if I want it to go quicker, I do it on heat. Well, paint is dry already. So, it's a little trick I did. I don't know if I invented it, but it works. So I'm just going to go in with some red modeling, un poquito de así, lombricitas por todos lados. Now we're going with the blue, con el azul, and if you notice that's really kind of like the same technique I use on almost everything, skin tone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to seal it right now. I mean, before I go in with more colors, antes de ir con más colores, lo voy a sellar with stuff. Matte finish. So right now I'm just going to do some splatter or spatter. Voy a empezar a poner nada más pequitas, como quien dice. Again, you know, you don't really see the spatter as well on the rough areas. Um, so you do the best you can. Purple, poquito morado. Whoops. I 
I'm gonna come in with some green. Voy a empezar con con el verde. A little bit of brown, café. Pero white, blanco. And we're going back in with a flesh tone just to soften that up a bit. Un poquito de, de, de la piel para que no se vea tan grave esas cositas. Okay, uh, vamos a hacer un poco de sombras, a little shading with some dark brown. I'm kind of going back and maybe do some little veins or something. Unas venitas. Whoops. That's a little bit too much. So we're adding a little bit of purple. Alright, so we're gonna paint the hair, vamos a pintar el pelo. We'll use a brush, then we'll go in with darker color. Luego con un color más oscuro. Just putting black in here. Estoy usando negro. Swiping it off. And what we're going to do, lo que vamos a hacer, is uh, do a darker brown wash. Uh, con pintura café oscuro. And try to get all these crevices in there. And see what we get. Okay, so now we're going to paint the eyes and the teeth, but right now the eyes, los ojos, vamos a pintarlos. Alright, so that's what we have right now, es lo que tenemos ahorita. Adding the little veins, estoy aumentando un poquito de venitas. I'm going to go with a little bit of yellow on the side of the eyes, un poco de amarillo a los lados de los ojos, and, and then red. Oops, that's too much. Alright, since he's a zombie, ya que es un zombie, 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 bueno. His eyes shouldn't be that blue. No deben de ser tan azul los ojos. So we're gonna put a little bit of grayish or light gray over them. Not to cover them up, but to kind of like hopefully make them look dead. No, no para taparlos con el gris que lo va a poner, ya que no deben de tener los ojos tan azules, ya que está muerto. O cualquier cosita. Woo. Almost covered it up. Okay, we're going to mix up 5 minute epoxy, 5 minutos de epoxy, un pegamento, equal amounts. A little hint of purple, un poquito de, de pintura morada, so it doesn't get yellow, para que no se ponga amarillo con el tiempo. See through, but it's still purplish, a bit, not too much, no tanto morado. And we are going to... Put a whole bunch in the mouth 
in el, in los dientes y la boca. And then the eyes, just to give it some nice glass. Go. We are going to create a little bit of the, the cornea. Vamos a ponerle un poquito más en la cor en la cornea. Sí. To create the little bulge, give it depth, and it's going to start blending down. So you want to turn it around. All right, guys. There you have them. Aquí está, amigos. Okay, ready. Till next time. Hasta la próxima.